guys what's going on today is friday unexpectedly um the guy's gonna do the bass of a macaw jar for 102 um he's not available this week so he said he can pull up like right now to do, do the bass map so we're gonna do it right now had a little bit of issues with the car um the treading arm uh bolt uh broke because i was trying to adjust the camera kit Long story short, the bolt broke, so my dad had to come with the with the uh, grinder, cut off the the bolt that's welded onto the trailing arm, put a new downstar bolt um, with a nut on it. Um, yeah, I have no seat belts right now, which is kind of crazy, but I think we should be good. I'm gonna try to see if I can put my front bumper on. I don't think that's gonna happen. If not, then I'll just zip tie the front plate on and then just call it a day. But I should be good. I don't have no inspection either, but whatever. We should be fine. All right, so drive see the tuner. Water. Yeah, I was into the base map. Finally get this thing rolling. Bro, it should have been a long time coming, bro. It should have one thing after another after another, problems after problem after problem, bro. Alright, we just did the CPS right now, just going over what's in the motor. Set up right and then we should be good. Take my hood off for now, real quick. Just in case we end up uh, driving this thing. Driving it, my guy Jeff over here doing his thing. Shit feels crazy driving it right now. All right, what up, guys? So sorry I couldn't really, I guess, vlog the uh, base map. Car is out right now. Um, car actually got a good base map. Um, I'm an idiot. I forgot to put my dipstick, and I seen a lot of smoke, and I'm like, where's the smoke coming from? I had a whole bunch of like oil. Right here, my windshield, which I just washed off, but you guys can see there's like oil here, and then I did some idiot shit. Look at that, man! Brand new Cerakoted manifold, dude. Here too, so um, the exhaust it ain't that hot, so I'm gonna try to throw some awesome in it real quick, and I'll uh, put some water and see what happens. See if it'll uh, fix it. Overall, everything went good though. Um, my VTEC is not popping, so I'm gonna take it out. And see if maybe the little mesh is dirty. If it has any um, metal shavings on it. And see what happens um, from there. If not, then uh, probably my VTEC solenoid is probably bad. Um, but everything went good. Yeah. Just a little disappointed that that shit just happened. But bumper is on. As you guys can see, it ain't the best. Um, right now because I obviously have to this whole front end has to get uh, fixed and I just did it on some on some quick shit But um, it's on there though, at least 
you know, I got it to get on, because I got to fix, like, the headlights. The headlights have to go, like, a little bit more down. I, have to, I think I could push the headlights a little bit more down. I'll have to push the bumper a little bit more up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Guys, we are outside. Twin days doesn't feel bad either. It feels great. Jeez. Can't believe we're outside right now. Uh, made it back home, got some gas, people loving the car. I don't see any smoking anymore, thank God. Um, I was able to get the oil off of it. Um, I used some uh, awesome degreaser came off, I didn't use anything harsh. Um, gotta do some minor work. Um, again, VTEC has to get fixed. Um, I gotta lift the back up because now I have more, I have the battery and everything in the back so the back has to get lifted um because right now it's kind of low i don't like it that low and again I have bigger tires so it's scraping a little bit in the back the tire got scraped in the back a little bit um well i could just probably camber it a tiny bit also but i don't want to camber it too much because it's gonna look it won't look that good but it's scraping on this side which is which is weird they gotta cut like the in the inner liner of this um but yeah it's gotta lift up the car a little bit more so it doesn't they don't really rub. Obviously, I got to get stiffer suspension also. But overall, got to just do that, fix the front. I'm going to be back outside tomorrow with the car, doing stuff, little stuff here and there with the car. Um, but overall, pretty excited about the car. I'm going to take off that VTEC cylinder also, see if the little mesh on it is dirty. So I check it to see if the mesh on it um, has any, like, uh, debris and stuff like that from the motor breaking in because, you know, shaving stuff can mess that up. Um, yeah, I got to figure that out. And then uh, he said if it's clean... Um, and it doesn't pop VTEC again, then um, hold the car at 3000 and put a power probe to it to see if it'll like act like it's in VTEC. If it doesn't do that, also, then the VTEC solenoid is, is bad. Um, but if it does, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what happens if it goes into VTEC when we put the power probe, then maybe the VTEC is not getting power or something. But um, I'll just hit up Jeff and he'll take care of that for me. So, but yeah, so I'm gonna go inside. See you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? It's the next day. I'm um, gonna be going to Home Depot. So we we'll returning something. I gotta go to Home Depot, drop something off ASAP because it's kind of late. This car is filthy, but I wash it uh, when I come back. So I'm gonna probably meet up with Drew, and it should be a good day. Um, head to my boy uh, Andrew Solid Creek. I'm having some issues right now with the brakes. The brake is not that stiff right now. It actually feels pretty normal, but the car is um, stopped, being stuck. Something's getting stuck, like my caliper, I could barely move the car. I think it's my rear caliper that's actually getting stuck. The brake feels good, and then it gets like, right now it feels like regular squishy, but a few minutes ago it was like super hard. So I think one of the calipers are, is staying stuck. I might have to take the caliper out and uh, see what's wrong with that. But this is why we drop the car to make sure everything is good, see what's going on. Yeah, but I think it's my rear right caliper. I've always had issues with that caliper uh, staying like kind of stuck, so. I know I passed by Drew's Hollow Creek, um, and we might just end up going back to my house. Uh, I'm gonna work on the car probably like two hours or some shit. I uh, just have to like uh, fix the front end and stuff like that. My rear is rubbing too, so I have to, I have to lift the car. Up also. Outside, I think. Well, Drew fixed my brake issue. It was just um, the what is it? The pedal adjustment. I had it too far off, so he pushed it in. Now the car rolls freely. But this is like a what is it, a whole year, right? A whole year, a whole year. Damn it! That's crazy to see. This shit was blue, and your shit was already painted, and now my your shit is red, and my shit is. Sheesh. It's showtime. Right, I'm back home. I uh, just cut these pieces off. Uh, which I never knew if you cut this off, it clears uh, this part here so I, the bumper can actually sit better. So I just cut this off with this, just cut this piece off. Might have to go a little bit more, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna test it out right now um, and see what it does. Hey, my guys came through to help out.
right, so the cutout that I did worked. They came through. I got some, uh... Oh, they're about to do the pump shit again. Um, came with these, what is this called? Like, fasteners, I guess, right? Like, uh, we're gonna call them clips, clips. They, <laughs> yeah, they brought me some clips so it works. The front end looks a lot better now also. Just have to adjust uh, the lights, I think, a little bit, but for the most part, it looks good. Um, then I'm gonna take off this VTEC solenoid. I might just do the rear, lift it up real quick. All right, the front end looks a lot better. Look at that. Hey, you got a brag. It's gonna, it's good. Some oil is gonna come out. All right, so we took off the VTEC solenoid. Damn, man. Is it hot here? Damn, we just let it all drop. But it had a whole bunch of... Well, actually, that's some of it right there, I think. Yeah, that is it. So it definitely was dirty. Justin took my VTEC solenoid out and dirty my whole trans, so... Probably go faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, more still. See how this looks like. No, I think it's good. Yeah, it's nothing. It, it, it caught all of it. Yeah, that's why when you loosen, that's why when you loosen it, as soon as you loosen it. We seen those things yeah, coming out. coming out. I didn't see that. I, I thought this right here was, when it caught there. I thought it was just oil. I didn't know that it was. It was dark, so you couldn't see it. But the oil, that shit still was stupid well, the clean. Oil is brand new. That high zinc twenty fifty right there. <laughs> that shit doesn't even feel that thick though. Uh, the oil. It's because it's, it's, it's the car's warmed up right now. When you put it, when you put the the oil in, you see that shit like going in deep. Um. All right. All right, guys. So the car is back. <clears throat> back to sleep mode um i'm not sure yet. i gotta figure out a few more things but i think the car right now is good enough to take it to go get um fabrication the intercool and everything i think it's ready to go get sent out um next week to be honest so um everything is back like i said i put everything i put it underneath the car cover but the bumper is on now uh good before <clears throat> i didn't have um this wasn't like perfect because uh there's 98 front and i never knew that if you cut that little piece that i showed you if you push it back once you cut that off you could push it back and put clips i never knew that so um again everything is back together the way it's supposed to be the um hood and everything is lined up obviously everything is aftermarket so it's not going to be perfect but fender lining everything looks pretty good to me so um yeah when they like that i'm gonna end the vlog i'm super excited that the car got um, base maps and I could drive it around so basically I'll be driving the car around breaking it in making sure everything is good I fixed the brake issue today it was my pedal fix that um, VTEC solenoid well the VTEC center itself the gasket had a whole bunch of like metal shavings and stuff in it when we took it out it fell out um, so I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if the car cracks VTEC um, this week or whatever um, can't really do that tomorrow because I'm not gonna be here tomorrow I'm gonna go to a water park tomorrow but um yeah, I think uh, we should be good. Uh, Cause like I said, I'm gonna see what my dad is doing next week, and actually see what Ben is doing next week, and uh, see what happens because um, I got to make sure they're available for um, available, um, so I could drop off the car and then go over to that. Cause I still have to stay there with the car, order some parts for the car, and all that stuff. So um, yeah, we'll see what, what happens, what goes on. So thank you guys again for watching. Please like this video. This is the first drive of the car, like literally. So. Really appreciate it guys if you guys uh, like this video, share this with your friends, everything. Peace guys, let's run it up. Peace, enjoy, peace out.